Hi, I'm the subject prize winner of Information and Communication Technology in 2014 to 2015. I also got subject prize in ICT last year. And now, I'm going to tell you why am I able to get such a high mark in ICT. Hmm. Actually, ICT is very, very, very complicated. But ICT is from one to three level is simple. Why am I saying it is simple? You may probably think that ICT is so complicated and difficult that you cannot understand what's going on. However, when you compare ICT to other subjects, you will find it's easy to score high marks. It is because you don't have examinations or tests and you don't need to practice. The marks mostly depends on your assignments and you have a lot of time to complete your assignments. Therefore, as long as you work hard enough, you can score a good mark. In fact, the tasks given are quite simple and almost everyone can get full mark. But teacher will give bonus mark to students who complete the assignment extraordinarily. So that's the point. How can you do a better job than the others? First, search and collect the information. For example, Form 2 students have to create their own website. If you have no idea about it, you can just surf on the internet to observe how a well-designed website is like. Our school homepage is one of the good examples. After that, you can start creating the website after you've got any idea. When you want to add some special items on your website that the teacher didn't teach you, just go search them on the internet or ask your ICT teacher for help. Second, good work takes time. If you want to do a good job, you must spend quite a lot of time on it. I've spent two to three nights on creating my own game in Form 3. And I've spent so many hours on creating my website that I couldn't tell how much time I've spent on it. Therefore, you need to be hardworking if you want to get high mark. Of course, working efficiently is very important as well. Last and the most importantly, interests. Honestly, if you're not interested in ICT, I strongly advise you not to spend too much time on ICT. It's time consuming and it's only 25 marks in total. I don't mean that you can ignore ICT, but the truth is that it is not worthy if you are not interested in ICT or you even hate ICT. You need not to spend two to three nights on doing ICT assignments. Instead, you can choose to revise for your Chinese examination or English test or anything you are really interested in. I spend a lot of time on it because I enjoy the process very much. Well, let me talk about something that is not related to ICT. I'm weak in physics in the first term of Form 3. I completely don't understand what the teacher is talking about and I think physics notes are like the books that is written in alien language. And my final score is 73 point something which is not a satisfactory result. Before the second term form test, I suddenly realized that I couldn't be like that and I started to work hard for physics. I do all the questions in notes, quizzes, tests and exam again and I asked my friends who are good at physics for help. I gradually understood the concept. Before the second term exam, I do all the questions again and again and after the exam I was like, hooray, I don't need to study physics anymore. And my final score in this term is 88 point something, which is 15 marks higher than the one in first term. I'm really glad to see the improvements, but sometimes I regret spending so much time on physics. I spend too much time on physics, and therefore I spend less time on the other subjects. So the results of some subjects that I like, such as mathematics and Chinese history, are not satisfactory. Therefore, if you're not interested in that subject, don't spend too much time on it. It is not necessary to be an all-rounder. Just do what you want and try your best.